were bringing the slaves, uh, they were not wearing footwear. Uh, some people believe that, so far as we are here, we have returned. Remember, three days today, we came to a door of return. Mm -hmm. So far as we are returned, we need to respect the ancestors. Uh, so if you think you are okay with that, you want to walk barefooted, please, you can do that. Um, if you want to have a communication with Mother F, please you can do that, you can remove your foot. If you don't want to do that, you can also put it on. Now, as you walk on the barefoot like this, on the ground, you are, uh, uh, whatever is also on the floor, is also massaging your feet. It's also massages. Doctors advise us that when you wake up in the morning, you can walk on something rocky and it massages. Or most of the intestines and everything in us, there's a distance under our feet. Mm -hmm. And then it will mm -hmm. thank you, madam. That's why I like you always be ago. <laughs> <laughs> so you have it so that you'll be able to, you know, massage. If you are not doing vigorous work, you can do walking barefooted and it will help you. So if you want to do that, I please like you can anyway. do that. Permission <laughs> is granted. Okay. So, I don't so, I, the only thing I have to uh, let people know just be just think about your health and your wellness and your safety. Uh, I personally never, I'm not gonna do that. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm not hurting them. It's just uh, it's, it's rough down there, so just uh, think about it. And hopefully, uh, and hopefully, uh, you're good to go. Are we okay? But, uh, okay, please, let's go. Let's go. Yes, so for safety purposes, uh, if you don't have any shoes on, just watch it as best as possible. Hey, Professor. Are we, are we going to, is there a river down there? Yes, please. Okay. This is the Ancestral River Park. Okay, so. Okay. 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 Let's just put more leaves down. Ah. You see, you feel so comfortable, so good. Yeah, it's actually not that bad. Exactly. And then uh, as you step on, you see that it's massaging. Yeah. <laughs> you know massaging your feet is a good one. Massaging the feet. Yeah, I think that'll work. Yeah. 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 Walking to the forest, family, on the way to the last bath, the Ancestral River. And this is our full presentation, reconnecting you to the ancestors. <laughs> Two days ago, we went to Cape Coast African Holocaust Dungeon. And now here we are, connecting to the point where ancestors took their last bath before they auction off to those African Holocaust dungeons. Painful energy, family. And it's a presentation if you haven't been there yet, see the Elmina Cape Coast. We definitely highly recommend that you make that journey. An experience, and the experience is something that's beyond anything else you've experienced. I mean, these are huge containment camps where ancestors was held captive sometimes for weeks to months. You can recover within the shortest possible time before by breathing. You take a, you take a very deep breath and then you cough. Like that. So you always give me like yourself <coughs> CPU. Yeah, CPR. Self-CPR. Yeah. yeah. By doing that, you resuscitate yourself mm -hmm. before yeah. even medical oh, help comes. Mm -hmm. Oh, I didn't mean, I mean, know that one. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, my work uh, is very broad. Mm -hmm. As a tour guide, uh, we, we, they, we, we go for, they, they take us on First aid, handling, and almost everything that we have to do. So it's helped us so much. 
Yeah. 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 How's the time over? Over here, we are in the cheese of this community room. When you say room, what I'm talking about is that the structure that we are in now <coughs> was dedicated to them. First of all, I would like to talk about the founder of the village, his father, and he handed over to his son. And um, he reigned till 1968. At a point in time, if someone died, someone have to sit in so that funerals will be performed. Those who sit in are called regents. And here they are. Here chiefs, we call them nananum, nananum. This is a chief without black stool. What is a black stool? <coughs> when the day you are being chosen to adore you, there is a certain stool that will be cut and you sit on it. When you sit on it three times, the whole community have accepted you, and elders have accepted you as the chief of the community. They said, without, without black stool, meaning that these are the regents. When those over here, those over here pass, those were the people who sat in so that they are funerals will be able to take place nicely. They are also chief, but they will not be given a stool to sit on it. The black, black stool, the seat that you sit on, when you pass, they are going to paint the stool black and put it in a room like this, called the stool room. It is at that place. The next person that was chosen, your successor, will be blindfolded, get into that room in that time, very dark. It can be 12 midnight, no light. And they will tell you to go in, and the ancestors will guide you to choose whom you are coming to succeed. So if you go, and then there's a stool here, and you touch that stool, the name of the stool will be given to you. So the stool in that room is the black stool. So those over here, from 1050 to 1968, those were the chiefs. Those were the chiefs. Who has black stool? A paramount chiefs, they have the black stool. In Ghana and in Africa, when you are stood as a chief, no one has the right to distool you until you pass on. The immediate past chief who took over from his father was this man. And you can imagine, look at it, 1968. He passed on four years ago. And he was buried just last month. Mm -hmm. He was buried, last month was December, sorry, November. On the 17th of November, he was buried. 
So how did they, um, you said he was buried in, in November. How did they preserve the body? If in the morgue. Okay. Here, if you are a chief and you die, uh, all depends on the advices that we call the council of states, mm -hmm. those who advise you, and then the family, they decide when to bury. If there is litigation, then they have to wait till they settle all the litigation mm -hmm. by those who sit in for you, mm -hmm. those who doesn't have the blacks too. Mm -hmm. They have to settle all the, the uh, litigations, meaning that they are uh, using them as the chief himself sitting in. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. He's not there. Someone should be in place and work for him. Mm -hmm. Until the person finish all the work around before they will allow him to go and mm -hmm. rest in peace. Mm -hmm. Be buried. Mm -hmm. Okay. So let's move to the next one. What is very important.